We firstly met Asus ZenBook Pro Duo quite a long ago on Computex 2019, but it was kind of handshake, nothing special, and we've promised to bring that baby on our table and check it out in more details. Let's speak about the outer look first. ZenBook Pro Duo is a large metal laptop with somewhat aggressive design that gives us straight hints of how significant is the cooling system inside. You understand that light and skinny style was buried deep in this chunky body, however the performance and carrying any loads is definitely more reliable here than in some slim laptops. One of the interesting and firstly hidden from the eye features became a charge indicator. Its position is surprising indeed, the exact LED line is basically unseen, however its work with reflection on the table makes it one of the most non-trivial things that I've seen in my life. The back of the screen has branded polishing, a ergolift mechanism that helps the cooling system remains as well, and besides it makes typing process much more comfortable. But hey, you might take a look at the thickness and say that because the whole keyboard is now on the lower part of the body and lifted up so high, it may be enough to make active chatters or writers suffer while spending much time typing the text. Just don't get too loud, the box actually contains the armrest as an accessory that will make your life much easier. The number of ports would be frankly the most standard as we all got used to, unless the Type-C one with functions of USB, Thunderbolt 3 and display port, which is a great news. Getting closer and closer to the top features, touchpad supports NabaPad that this time can jump onto ScreenPad Plus if it's more convenient for you. The screens themselves are high quality 4K sensor displays made under different technologies. The main one is OLED and its duo brother is IPS. The main bears DCI-P3 color space, so it will definitely find love in the eyes of painters, designers and people who just praise awesome screens. And finally, this shows Tapa, let's speak about laptop's additional display. In sizes, it's just twice as smaller as the main one in height and is the same in width. Strange as the way it sounds, the screen has its own settings. Apart from the general ones like brightness adjustment, desktop background set and virtual resolution, you can also decide what sizes you'd like Windows to appear on ScreenPad Plus by default and then you can just set your own preferences in these regards. It's worth to point out automatic window presets while dragging it, turning on and off shortcut fast relocation to the second screen and managing power saving mode. You can also place hotkeys to the work area or handwriting window, the latter one is easily getting used to even clumsy writing skills, so take that doctors, now we have the built-in mechanism to understand your prescriptions. There are three main cases in which you will need to use that screen, the first one, you place some additional elements on the screen pad, like a count and keyboard and helping tools on the main screen. The second one is simultaneously opening several windows on different areas. And the third, the window is wide enough to have space on both screens and your eyes are not breaking because of that. Ok, actually the last scenario will be useful for internet surfing and video editing when the main screen bears the demo of your future masterpiece while timeline with tools are down below. Or if you found the muse and decided to draw something, screen pad will allow you to open sketchbook and show your skills. Moreover, if your tasks require multi-windowed screen with certain apps, you can create presets for their quick launching. In brief, you should open all necessary windows, manage them on your demand through displays, make a couple of saving moves and here we go. Next time the laptop will prepare the desktop in just a couple of seconds. Eventually, ScreenPad Plus capabilities has no limits here, you basically get the second wide screen that needs no cables or some witty transportation. ZenBook Pro Duo has everything packed in and only you decide how to manage all the stuff. Just add some imagination to your working day and let the laptop do the rest. So this is it for today, although it was only a quick look on ZenBook Pro Duo with its main features, I'm strongly thinking to take the chance to play on that device and test its power. By far, I will call it the most unusual and full functional laptop of the series and maybe of all times. And if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button and ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!